According to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, nearly 20 people per minute are abused by an intimate partner in the United States. With North Carolina reporting nearly 60,000 domestic violence calls between 2019 and 2020, tonight we're highlighting a local nonprofit making a difference and providing a safe haven for victims. Turning Point is a 42-bed domestic violence shelter in Monroe. And after the past year, the shelter needs your help now more than ever. Well, I think if you if you want a tangible, visible display of resilience and the human spirit, you will find it here. Jesse Lindbergh is the executive director of Turning Point, a 42 bed domestic violence shelter in Monroe. We serve people who are fleeing intimate partner violence. We provide 24 hour response for survivors of sexual assault. And then we run a children's advocacy center where we serve children who have been sexually abused physically abused or have witnessed pretty significant violence in the home. I started working with domestic violence shelters after my friend and colleague was killed, the victim of domestic violence. I think a lot of people, one in four families we know is impacted by domestic violence. So it's far more likely than not that you either have been, you've experienced it or you know somebody who has. Before she was killed, I think, I, I don't know why, I just thought domestic violence happen to other people. You know, on our brochures, you will not see a bruised person anywhere because that's a dangerous cliche. You know, there are so many forms of abuse. Hannah K. Herdlinger and Pamela Blunt, both victims of domestic violence. Pamela witnessed her mother's murder at the hands of an abusive boyfriend. Hannah K. experienced abuse from her now ex-husband. Both women have worked with Turning Point to help other victims. In my situation, domestic violence didn't win. The people that I get to touch because I get to share her story, it, it is just absolutely amazing. But Pamela brings the child aspect. Um, we get her view through the eyes of a child. Turning Point is more than just a safe place to stay. They provide safety, security, and programs to help domestic violence survivors like myself get back on our feet. Hannah Kay is just a warrior. For, for victims and survivors. And she gives a voice to the people that aren't quite there in their healing journey. We want people to be ambassadors for this work. So how can you make a difference? We have three stores that we run, secondhand stores, they're called Second Chance Boutiques. We always need supplies here at the shelter. You know, with COVID especially, we have been, you know, people are here a lot more. And so we're going through products like paper towels, toilet paper, snacks for the kids, food. We also, you know, here at the shelter, we certainly always need volunteers. It's been such a tough year for so many. And Jesse just wants to make sure the families of Turning Point know how loved they are. They too can get past what's happened to them and, you know, live a violence-free life that's really meaningful. Jesse also said since they are a nonprofit, they function on donations. If you want to make a difference, just text the word Monroe to 50155, or you can look for our turning point story at WCNC.com slash make a difference.